Now back to the top story, our city's stay home mandate. It is the safest way to slow the spread. Mike McDaniel reports from Uptown where it appears people are listening. Good evening. This is a sobering realization of just how serious the spread of coronavirus is, especially in the New Orleans area. With hospital systems fearing their services may be outpaced, the city hopes this mandate will get folks' attention. We need everyone to comply. After Pay talking with other city and, and state comply. leaders, New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell Don't made the decision to issue a stay-at-home mandate for residents of New Orleans. That mandate means stay home, going out only for critical needs. The more people who stay home, the more lives that we will save. With business restrictions already in place, Kentrell says this mandate is a more aggressive way to stop the spread of the coronavirus, but it's going to take folks paying attention. Most of it on the front end of this is uh, personal responsibility and adhering to our people to do the right thing, stay home and save a life. It does, in fact, wake people up. WWL legal analyst Chick Foray says a stay-at-home mandate is pretty much what was already happening, but more official. She formalized a request to the citizens, please do exactly what you've been doing, but I'm going to put it in the form of an order that the law allows me to do. Even with that mandate, Foray says there could be some issues. The problem is, from a practical standpoint, there are many exceptions. Those exceptions are for what the city deems essential services, places like health care facilities, pharmacies, grocery stores, gas stations, banks, and restaurants for takeout and delivery only. Don't look for ways for the rules to not apply to you. Do not look for ways to be an exception. Stay home. With this mandate and restrictions currently in place for businesses and public gatherings, the mayor says the police department is prepared to enforce at every level. Reporting from Uptown, Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And some sad news to pass along. Two local icons have tragically passed. Bounce DJ and radio personality Oliver Stokes Jr., better known as Go DJ Black and Mild, tested positive for the coronavirus and died yesterday. Also, Ronald Lewis, founder of the House of Dance and Feathers Museum in the Lower Ninth Ward, has died. He had been hospitalized the past few days and was tested for the virus, but no word on his results yet. Over the years, Lewis was a Mardi Gras Indian, social aid and pleasure club leader, and photographer who documented local culture.